guys, we just got an Apple Watch in the mail, so we're just gonna open this up. This is the package that we got it in this year. Last year, I just remember getting cardboard. However, this time it's in this. So here we go. Here's the Apple Watch box. Around that, there's not much info, as you guys can see. Just underneath, you guys will see all the information like serial number and all that stuff. Anyways, let's just turn over the box and open this up. So we can just slide this out. And we're gonna open it up. Very easy to open, actually. Now keep in mind, it doesn't really matter which size you've got. Uh, you're gonna see the exact same thing within this unboxing from other Apple Watches. I've done so many unboxings for Apple Watches, so they're all the same thing. So if you've got a smaller one or bigger one, it's, again, same thing. Here we go, we're just gonna take this out. That's all we get inside the box. We've got this paper. Then we've got this right here so there you go you do get two so here's one and here's the second one just go with whichever you like more if you put one on top of the other you're gonna notice although this one looks fatter it's really not it's just like an optical thing uh they're the same thing this one's just longer and this one's shorter so it's great that they keep doing that. I hope they keep doing that. And you get this piece as well, because you need it. That's the other side. You only get one of these, which technically you should only need one of these. So that's all that's in this side of the box. Now, luckily the setup video for an Apple Watch is extremely easy and fast. I did make a video about that. This is just an unboxing. So that's exactly what we're gonna see, what you get inside the box. Anyways, let's just open this up. So here's the other side. We need to take this off. That way we can open up the box this way. And finally, here's the Apple Watch itself. So here it is, it does come with this, which is good. So if you have a screen protector for it, you should put it right away. Uh, the casings, I thought I was a fan of them, but I'm not anymore because water goes in them and then it kind of become useless at the end. So anyways, screen protectors on the other hand, they're always good. So right in here, you're just gonna see this some instructions very easy instructions but basically your iphone just make sure your bluetooth's on your wi-fi's on and the only thing that you get um inside here is this to charge it up so here is the cable that you get to charge your apple watch with so this is the one that comes with it whoops should i just opened it up this way so here it is that's how it looks like and all you do is just place your apple watch on top of it and that's about it now this end you need to hook it up to your computer this is USB-C, or you could buy an adapter for it. Well, a brick for it. And yeah, that's one of the things that uh, they've been cutting out on. They don't give you bricks anymore for almost anything. I'm gonna do a quick close-up so you guys can see a little bit better the exact cable that you get from Apple. So you guys can see all the markings and everything. I know some people are watching this just for this part. They just wanna get a replacement and they wanna see that it's a legit one. So that's why I'm showing you a close-up of this. But anyways, once again, you will have to buy a brick or hook it up to your computer. Make sure it's USB-C port right there so you guys can charge it up. Now that would be it for the box. Some people do destroy this to see if there's anything underneath it or anything like that. We've done this so many times, there's never anything there. They're not gonna give you anything free. I've seen videos where people say that there's like amazing things inside the boxes. There isn't. Apple's taking away stuff, not putting in more stuff. So for example, with iPhones before, you used to get a brick, the cable, plus headphones. Now you're just down to the cable. They cut down on the two things. So they're not putting in more stuff. They're taking away. And finally, we got the Apple Watch itself. All we have to do is just take it out from this thing. So we're just going to slide it out. Here we go. That's what it looks like press down on this right away, which I shouldn't have, because I didn't really want to do that. So that's when it's, I'm going to set it up. I don't want this to turn on at the moment. Um, but anyways, right now you guys can see the back, the sides. I'm going to give you a better close up right now. So here we go. That's better close up of the Apple Watch. Now here is the back and you guys will be able to appreciate all the ports that it has. Basically no ports. This is for your bands. Your bands will be inserted there. Here's the other side, and that's it. It's a very, very minimalistic design. 
you have this wheel here, which is a button as well. You have this as well. And of course, it's got some battery. It tells me that it's low battery already. So before setup, I would charge it a little bit just so I can do the setup and not have any problems when I'm doing that. I don't want to die on me. So just in case, charge it up before you set it up. So usually I don't do this, I don't do the setup, but it's better to appreciate the Apple Watch if I actually put these things on. So I'm just gonna put them on. So there we go. It's that fast to put them on. So that's how it looks like. Let me just turn this off and turned off. There we go, much better. Anyways, so that's how the Apple Watch looks like. You guys can always change these guys whenever you like, if you get tired of them or anything like that. But these are my favorite. So if you want to do sports or just everyday life, I feel like they're the best. But anyways, as far as this video goes, we are all done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.